What is going on guys? Thanks for checking out the video. Today is the day. The time has finally come. As you can see behind me, I am painting the fender flares on the car. I would be lying if I said that I don't regret painting them beforehand now. Uh, I definitely do regret it because it would have been so much easier to just paint them off the car and not have to freaking put the entire car in plastic like it is now. But hey, it is what it is. We'll get it. We'll get it done. Uh, beautiful day. I'm out here in shorts and a t-shirt. It is like 72 degrees today. Perfect. This is what I've been waiting for to do these flares. So uh, literally I got the whole thing taped up. All I got to do is sand these things down and paint them. So uh, without talking too much, I'm just going to get into it. I'll set up the tripod so you can kind of see me working and uh, we'll get this thing over with. So when I paint these, I am going to sand them with 500 grit sandpaper. And then I'm going to go over them with a red scuff pad, a 3M scuff pad. And then when I have the paint mixed up, I'm going to actually add a little bit of adhe uh, adhesion promoter and I'll lay down the paint, put the clear coat on and we'll be good to go. Let it cure up. It's a nice warm day. And then if I have to later on, I'll come back and wet sand and buff everything. <laughs> Once you have all the flat surfaces sanded down, I'm gonna take my red scuff and get the top surfaces really good. All right, number one done out of four. So I'm not gonna bore you with sanding the other side. You see what I did. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get the paint ready. We're gonna clean these things off and we're gonna paint them. All right, guys, I got 7% battery left. Let's see if I can finish off this video. So uh, the flares are done. They look great. The paint is like almost spot on, uh, which is cool because I mixed it myself. So I'm glad I got it right. Uh, and then obviously, like I said, I have wheel spacers coming, so it's going to look great once everything gets here. Uh, I'm going to have to do a little bit of wet sanding and buffing. There's a dirt number two, and I got a small little run on the back side uh, on the passenger side. So I'll show you that now. But uh, this will give you an idea of how it's going to look. I'm going to apologize in advance. My camera just died, so now I'm using my phone. It's going to be really shaky here, but uh, just to give you an idea how it looks. I'm so excited. This looks so good. You can 
pretty much get an idea of the finished product. Also, did you notice the new window vents? That's new too. I was gonna do a video of those when I installed the wheel spacers, but uh, didn't really make it that far. So, here's the other side. Now, everything's literally perfect, but this back one here, got a little bit of a run going along there, as you can see. So, no big problem. That should sand out just fine, wet sand above it. And like I said, I still gotta do my trunk anyway, so I'll give these like a week to cure up and then I'll wet sand and buff all of them, just clean them up. But besides that, we're ready to rock and roll. The only thing left to do is put some wheel spacers on, test out this wheel fitment, sell the wheel spacers, and uh, get some wheels. Not exactly sure when that's gonna happen yet, but hopefully soon. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you again soon.